games and the teams, the opponents are different. And so different demands uh, have to, for this, I have to bring different players. You were worried about set pieces in our first game. Uh, what have you done about it? Um, yeah, we had some, I think, useful discussions um, um, about set pieces. Yesterday we, we trained them again. And yeah, we hope uh, that we improve in that and we don't concede goals anymore uh, like that. Um, coach, just um, one quick question. After your game against Brazil, um, a lot of um, media discussions, a lot of um, fan reaction as well. Um, are you overthinking your squad? Are you overthinking your starting um, 11? Um, like I said, um, we are using these matches to try a lot of things. Um, and um, yeah, we not only on the on the players, but also on, for myself themselves at the training, but also in the games. And um, I'm not worried uh, together. This is very important for us as a team. Um, we have new players to integrate, so a whole lot of things. And also, surely, I want to to use these games um, for for yeah for most of the players. I can't promise that everyone play, but most of the players to to show it uh, themselves at the training, but also in the games. And um, I'm not worried. Um, we have to take uh, the right conclusions out of every match. And um, like I said, prepare ourselves for the World Cup. This is the mo most important thing. Coach, uh, how do you see Iñaki in the, with the team? Do you see him happy after becoming a, a Black Star play uh, player? How do you see him? Yeah, very, very good. Uh, he integrated well. He gets along with a lot of players. Um, um, from what I see, also on, in, in the game, he adapted well. Um, I saw a lot of things which I won't see and I'm happy for him to be, to be here and uh, um, we are very, very happy that we, we, we have him as a team and our team. At the years before, it could be impossible to, to see uh, Iñaki playing for, for Ghana because he, he played for Spain. I don't know if you, if you imagine like, uh, seeing both brothers, Iñaki and Nico, playing together. Together? In, in, in Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. uh, that would have been great, but um, his brother decided to play for Spain, which is fair, which is well as well. Um, we would have loved to see him in Ghana, surely, but um, yeah, I can understand this. Uh, you, you imagine like, uh, seeing both brothers, Iñaki and Nico, playing together? Together? In, in, in Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. uh, that would have been great, but um, squad together? In, in, in Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. uh, that would have been great, but um, his brother decided to play for Spain, which is fair, which is well as well. Um, we would have loved to see him in Ghana, surely, but um, yeah, I can understand this. Um, me, myself, I'm also born in Germany, growing up in Germany, so you always have two hearts in, 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 or two homes uh, in your heart, and um, for this is always a difficult decision, so we respect that, and, and yeah. Hopefully, it would be great if we could play against Spain. Coach, um, Patrice sustained injury in the course of warm up ahead of the Brazil game. How did that affect your tactics, and how is his absence going to affect your tactics tomorrow? Um, with the tactics, it doesn't affect at all because the tactics are, um, are um, yeah. The, the players doesn't surely the players also are important for tactics because you need sometimes a certain style of play you need certain players who have certain abilities but um, for tomorrow's game um, I think um, it will be okay uh, hope hopefully uh, Thomas will be happy very very soon we didn't want to take that risk in a friendly game to 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 play him against Brazil and um, but surely a player like him. Uh, especially against a, uh, a squad like Brazil is always helpful. Okay, guys, I think it's fine. Um, any injury concerns in camp or anything that we should know? Um, the Tico has a little pain, so um, he went with the doctor to for a checkup. We have to wait for the for the results. And Tarek, um, the warm up, he felt a little something, so we said, just said, okay, we have to watch out and make load management and he will be assessed later after the training. hope that it's nothing serious and I uh, hope that he can play tomorrow.
Yeah, coach. So, uh, what are your what are your key objectives going into this game against Nicaragua after everything that's happened? And like I said, to have a lot of connections, it's a different uh, um, game. Being in this game, we are the favorites, so it demands different uh, things from us. And um, yeah, we, we trained it, we talked about it the last days, and uh, hopefully we can see a lot of, especially offensive patterns um, in that game. Are we likely to see, you know, um Players who didn't play in the game against Basel on, on the pitch a lot more? Um, this one we will decide this evening, we'll see. Coach, after the Brazil game, you admitted your second half was better. Are you going to start the game with your second half approach against Brazil? I don't know, like I said, it's a different um, match. Um, and for everyone to know, for me, I can win with a team and uh, play against and um, For tomorrow's game, um, I think. Um, will be okay. Uh, hope, hopefully uh, Thomas will be happy very, very soon. We didn't want to take that risk in a friendly game to, to, to play him against Brazil. And, um, but surely a player like him, uh, especially against a, a, a side on, on systems, so um, we have to find uh, together. This is very, very important for us as a team. Um, we have new players to integrate, so a whole lot of things. And also, surely, I want to, to use these games um, for, for, yeah, for most of the players. I can't promise that everyone will play, but most of the players to, to show it. Uh